to use this scorecard with their employees, uh, with people that do have these things and maybe do not have these things. With regards to core values? The, the, with the scorecard. So there's people that are going to achieve some of these things in the scorecard and some of them who won't. Yeah. Problem areas with a team. Yeah, so when you say scorecard, what do you mean? I have an idea of a scorecard. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. Yeah, so some of the things I wrote to, uh, to feed this question. So um, basically the, the knowing answers to the three questions. Ah, okay, uh, the, okay, okay. Um, so we, we have this idea at Sales Loft. There's like these three critical questions, and they sound so freaking simple. You're going to be like, Kyle, why do you keep telling us stuff we already know? Like, you have to have core values. Sorry. But at Sales Loft, we drive super hard to answer three questions for every single employee at the company, all the way down to intern, engineer, you know, market development rep, whatever it is. And the questions are really simple. One, who's my boss? Which surprisingly, sometimes that's a hard question to answer. Two, what's my job? Like clearly define what is expected of me. And then three is the tough one. How do I know if I'm doing it well, right? And if you have, if your people have the answers to all those three questions, it's like super easy to fill in the blank on, on leadership and management around all those things. And so we've identified this idea of a balanced scorecard. And the balanced scorecard is basically a number for everything. And so each department has its own numbers. And so the company-wide has a balanced scorecard. What's our ARR? How many customers do we lose? What's our net negative churn? Like how much expansion revenue are we getting? What's our uh, uh, customer net, prom net promoter score? Like all these things. And then each department has a scorecard for all the things that matter to them. And then it breaks down to each individual rep. And so, or person, depending upon sales or whatever. And so every single person in the company has these identifiable goals that are charted out. And then the manager can like sit next to them and say, here's your goals, here's your progress, here's where we need to be, we're not there. And so I think that's maybe what you're asking is like check up on it. And then the one thing that I would recommend for anyone in the room one thing I started doing after the first failure of the company was I do this thing called weekend updates. And so this is every single Sunday night. I've never ever missed one. And I highly recommend you look at something like this. Uh, my, my, all my team leads do it now. And it's an email to your team. And it says, here's our scorecard. Here's the things we were expected to do. Here's the, here's the goal for the quarter. And here's where we are on track to those things. And for sales, it gets down to individual people, right? Straight up. Like, VP of sales sends out an email, it's got the whole team, all their names, all their activities, and every single Sunday night. And it's not just to the sales team, we send this to the team team, so that everybody's like, we know what's going on. And so this is the idea of having a balanced scorecard, um, you know, and then keeping, keeping it like trued up every single week and sent out to the team. That's great. I'm gonna